and gentlemen, the voice of Tommy Cannon. Stop spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes. Or longing to stray and step right through the heart of it. New York, New York. <laughs> I want to wake up in the city that the sleep. And I hear the walk. Hold it, hold it, hold it! Hold it! Shut up! Shut up! Marvellous, that, isn't it? Look who's walked on now, Roland Rat. <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut up, lady, I'll knock your piggy head right off. <laughs> it's not piggy Roland Rat. I ride with a flaming duck, it's me, Bugs Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. I'm more than annoyed. I'm annoyed at... <laughs> I can see that, the way your whiskers are bristling. What's your problem, my little furry friend? You know my problem, don't you, eh? <laughs> you little conniver. <laughs> you little conniver. You changed the opening, didn't you? Well, I was stuck in the back having a lot of trouble with me fluff thing. <laughs> what do you mean, fluff thing? <laughs> Get out of it. I did not, I did not change the opening number. Yes, you did, you little liar. You little liar! You little liar! <laughs> All together! You little liar! You got... <laughs> you got our pal Trevor to change the opening so they introduced, instead of me and you, on his own, ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Tommy Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? Simon the Bum or something? <laughs> Listen, bro, rabbit. You've got me fur. Right? <laughs> I'm quite sure the people in the audience would sooner listen to me sing than look at you in this stupid costume. It's not stupid. Oh. It's not stupid. <laughs> this is very symbolic, this. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. I put this on so that I could make my moving speech to the watching millions. Well, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. All right, I will. All this. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the watching millions, <clears throat> tonight is the time of the season when we sit at home, um, cracking our nuts and pulling our crackers. <laughs> That's crackers! It is not crackers, it's the absolute truth, so shut up! <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate this festering season, <laughs> here's a beautiful little song that's guaranteed to fetch a lump to your throat and several other parts of your body. <laughs> After four, boys, four! I'm singing a song with my mouth. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In, in your Easter bonnet with all the frills upon it. Yeah. Yeah. It may have escaped your attention, but it happens to be Christmas time. All right? Easter is several months away. <laughs> right? It hardly seems the time to wish everyone Happy Easter. I just thought I'd be the first, that's all, for a change. <laughs> well, look, tell you what to do, right? Stop rabbiting. Stand over there. And hold your peace. It's very difficult in this costume. <laughs> Ladies and 
gentlemen, here's a song Tell that me. I love, Tell especially me. when I'm singing it. Tommy, hmm? I'm really trying to be a bit different, that's all. It misfired, OK? Just leave it. It misfired. As I was saying, this song, ladies and gentlemen... I feel a bit, uh... <laughs> I feel a bit stupid now. <laughs> you feel a bit stupid? Yeah. Let me tell you something. You look stupid. In fact, you are very, very stupid. In fact, I'll take it farther than that. You are very, very, very stupid. In fact, I'll go as far as to say... You are ultra stupid. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I was that stupid. <laughs> yeah. All right then. All right then. We'll ask the audience. Right? Clap if you think so. You look stupid. I could kill myself. <laughs> exactly. I know what you've done. You know what your problem is, Bobby. What? You're old-fashioned, aren't you? No. Yes, of course you are. You thought, what I'll do? I'll dress up as a little Easter bunny and everybody will love me. Didn't you? Yeah, well, people love bunnies, don't they? <laughs> Especially boys and girls. Boys and girls, Bobby, they don't love bunnies, do they, and teddy bears, eh? They're into Transformers and Warlords, aren't they? Eh? Of course they are. You've wanted to go down to the park, haven't you? See the kids playing on the wet grass? with all these space games, mm. eh? Mega monsters. Yeah. Warlords. Yeah. You know the kid next door to me? What? He's got the Zoids. He will, I'll sitting on that wet grass. Ha! 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 All fortune toys have not. <laughs> because, leave them and shut up a minute. I'll tell you something. <laughs> not in my local toy shop, they haven't. Oh, no. No, because I'll tell you something. Yeah. An absolute... <laughs> leave them, men. Listen to this, and ladies, shut <laughs> it. An absolute true story that happened in the local toy shop in the toy department on Christmas Day. Mm. And it happened to a little friend of mine. Pinocchio. <laughs> In a big toy shop not so long ago lived a wooden top they called Pinocchio. <laughs> With the toy so bright he would dance all night. What a sight to see. A rag doll so rare and a teddy bear. Two tall tin soldiers, trim and ebony, and the fairy queen that you must have seen on your Christmas tree. Fairy fair each day was daily serenaded by the toy wooden boy making lots of noise. Then one day the shop was suddenly invaded by a rough, very tough squad of modern toys. And these new toys arrived. How could old-fashioned toys survive?
And that's how it happened, Tom, and that is the absolute truth. <laughs> that is not how it happened. You're telling lies again, like Pinocchio. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, me. I've got a big headache now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, see you after the break with Kim Wilde and Kate Amara. Oh, don't forget little Richard. I won't. <laughs> Oh, I make it in the teapot. Mark is strong. No sugar. Free sugars. Good and hot. Steaming hot. New Quick Brew gives you all the taste. Fresh and hot. Whichever way you pour it. Whichever way you want it. Quick Brew's the one that has it all. New Quick Brew. All the taste. Fresh and hot. on Walker's crisps. Uh, your craft originals, huh? What it is? Might I inquire, sir, what is in these cases? Local off-license for selling off this bargain pale cream number. You mean you purchased this? It's frightfully cheap, mind you. <laughs> when one tasted it, one could see why. Not a patch on the real thing. So I thought they'd make decent presents for the tradesman. Unwise, sir. A gentleman's reputation rests not only on the sherry that he drinks, but on the refinement of the sherry that he gives. So you think a case of that might not go down too well? It would be as welcome, sir, I think, as a case of mumps. Craft original pale cream sherry. One instinctively knows when something is right. He needs a little lubrication. Thanks. I'll have him a huge export.
earlier. That was sensational. That was great, Kim. That. Lydia meant Kim Wilde, or to give her a real name, Vera. <laughs> have you finished your little belty? Yes, I have, yes. Good, because you can fit your wage, you put the back door now. Can you yeah, whoa, push whoa, up? Because whoa, 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 hang on, don't talk to Kim like that. She might want to do eight or nine more songs. Well, I hope not, Tommy. I've got a bus to catch. <laughs> <laughs> Take the notes of him, Kim. Was that your latest uh, song? That Was that your latest? That's a, a song on my new album. On your new album? Yeah. Well, may I just tell you this? That could be a number one. Oh, thank you. Great song. Thank well, you. don't mind me saying, Kim. I'll tell you, it's a very pretty ditty. <laughs> You'd have scored better with this audience if you'd have sung one of my songs. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know you uh, wrote songs. You what? I, did, I didn't know you, you wrote songs. No. You didn't know I wrote songs? Don't be stupid. I write a new song every day. I write a song in the shower. It's ruining my piano. <laughs> Well, no, no, neither does anybody else. But, I mean, he wrote one in the last 20 years. Nobody's ever heard of it. Oh. I'll tell you this, Kim. Maybe they haven't, but this is a bona fide hit. And if you record it, you'll be on top of the pops for 45 weeks. I'm telling you. <laughs> you want to hear it? No, thanks, no. Right, lads, after four. Two, three, four. <laughs> in your Easter body. What's wrong with it? You didn't write that song. Irvin Burley wrote it. He nicked it off me. <laughs> I've got the rights, Kim. It's a belting song. Do you want it or what? Uh, look, lads, I, I, oh, is that the time? Is that the time? I've got to go. What a shame. What a shame. I've got to go now. Anyway, oh, it's really? been really nice seeing you, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. If you don't want it, I'm going to sell it to your dad. You stupid idiot, aren't you? Hey, oh, what are you doing? Hey, trying to, trying to tell, sell Kim one of your songs? Boy, you need your head examining, you do. Head examining? Yes. What a great idea for a sketch. Ah, oh, it is. Oh, it's a good enough song. <laughs> Kim, stay there. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, speaking as your personal psychiatrist, I urge you to stop worrying. Now, loosen up. Learn to enjoy life. No, no, I know it's not easy, but uh, you will get used to it, eventually. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be around tomorrow for our usual consultation. Yes. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. <laughs> well, Morning. Uh, which one of you has the problem? I do, Doctor. <laughs> B-ball. <laughs> You've probably seen us on telly. No, I'm afraid not. I never watch television, unless it's Dallas, of course. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Doctor. Because I'm just eaten up with anxiety. Yes, oh, yes, yes, I can see that you're eaten up. Right, come along then, climb onto the couch, right. put your brain in my hands. Yes, I will. <laughs> Is this real leather, Doctor? Yes. Oh, I love leather. <laughs> I just love it. I'm sorry yeah. about this, Doctor. He's, he's a real worry to me. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Lie down and relax. I want you to empty your mind. Yeah. <laughs> that won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 relax. Tell your body to relax all over. I'm telling it, Doctor, but it just won't listen. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, you're not going to the dentist. Take the look of agony off your face. I can't, Tommy. <coughs> What's wrong? I think I'm sat on my car keys. <laughs> listen, Boris. May I call you Boris? <laughs> well, you can if you really want to. Now, what is your problem? I can't say, really. 
Come here, what do you mean? Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. What's the matter with you? Hey? Stupid, I've got a Baruka there! Shut up, man! Tell the doctor now, for goodness sake. She's a highly qualified, highly street psychiatrist, stupid. What's the matter with you? The doctor knows best. Right? Tell her what's the matter with you, don't you, doctor? Oh, yes, I, I learned a lot about human frailty when I was in prison. Really? <laughs> no, it's, it, it was nothing. I'm, I was innocent. Completely innocent. No, it, it's, it's all right. I'm, I'm over it now. Completely over it. I... <sighs> it was my sister, you see. Her with her fancy frocks and her padded shoulders. Leaving <laughs> me there incarcerated all those years. <laughs> no makeup. No fancy frocks. <laughs> Just the odd sausage. <laughs> and a camp bed to sleep on. It was hell, I tell you, hell! <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> yes. Shouldn't I be on the couch? <laughs> Yes, of course, I, I'm terribly sorry. Thanks, Doctor. <laughs> I quite understand, Doctor. I don't like sausages either. <laughs> now, uh, where were we? <laughs> it all happened Christmas morning. What happened Christmas morning? His problem. He was disappointed. He didn't get the present he was expecting. Disappointed? I was destitute. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely ordered a compact display. You know, Doctor, I could never understand why he didn't deliver it. I wrote a lovely long letter to Santa. Did he say Santa? Yes, he said Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven pages long. I wrote down S. Claus, Elf's Grotto, North Pole. The stamp cost me 18 big in B. <laughs> Arnold, you don't mind me calling you Arnold, do you? <laughs> well, anything is. Better than Boris, I suppose. <laughs> Look, Arnold, I think it's about time that you faced up to the truth. There is no Santa Claus. I can't listen to this. Talk <laughs> stupid. What have I been telling you? Shut up, I'll let it go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but your friend is telling you the truth, Roger. Roger? <laughs> <laughs> They're all childish illusions. There's no Santa. No stalk that brings babies. No tooth fairy. No Daffy Duck. <laughs> no Daffy Duck? Is there nothing sacred I'm shattered? <laughs> what have I been telling you all these years, eh? It's time you grew up, Roger. Time you became a real man in the real world, like your friend here. <laughs> Doctor knows best. You're right, Alexis. <laughs> you don't mind me calling Alexis, do you? Well, if you really think it will help. <laughs> I've been a fool to myself, mate. I've been a real ninny. You're right, Doctor. I'm a man, me. No more little boy for me. I'm a man in a man's world who's a man doing what a man should do when a man's a man. I am what I am. <laughs> I'm a man in a man's world like my big pal there, who's a proper man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Doc. How much do I owe you? Fifty pounds. Pay the lady, Tommy. <laughs> One pound, two pounds, <laughs> three pounds, four pounds.
beautiful kid tomorrow. Is there anything you'd like to say, Kate? Yes, there is. Girls and boys, don't believe a word we said in that sketch. There is a Santa Claus. Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Ab oh! <laughs> Are you still here? You told me to wait here. <laughs> don't be so piggy stupid. <laughs> anyway, have you met Kate? Kate, Kim, Kim, Kate, Kim, Kate, Kim, Kate, 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 that way to see her. Yes, we really ought to go more often. Yeah, Brian, I can smell gas. It's really strong in here. I'll turn it off at the mains. You better open a window. Hello, ga gas emergency service. We've got a gas leak. They'll be here soon. No! Even a spark from a light switch turned on or off, for example, can ignite escaping gas. For the important do's and don'ts of gas safety, see our advertisement in many daily and Sunday newspapers. It could save your life. British Gas. Caring for your safety. Not the sort of holiday camp I had in mind, Dave. I've got reservations myself, Jeff. Hang on. The supplies have got through. Ah, stones! What's a great northern brew like stones doing out west, Dave? Going down great, Jeff. Just great. <laughs> What's that? Looks like Cheyenne. <laughs> she don't look shy to me. Wherever you may wander, take home stones. Get your skates on for Queensway's great winter sale. Up to £200 knocked off three-piece sweets. Prices sliced by up to 50% on top name beds. And bumper savings on bedrooms, dining rooms and carpets. The dazzling Queensway winter sale. On now. At Valences, I guarantee the lowest prices. And now it's sale time, they're even lower. Valences January sale is on now. Don't miss it. It isn't unusual for a car to pick up an award or two. But we've built a car that's won a whole succession of them. That car is called the Cavalier. But we're not resting on our laurels. The new 1987 Cavalier has smoother lines and new fuel-injected engines, including a powerful two-liter. There are five-speed gearboxes and upgraded interiors. But alongside all we've put on, we've taken something off. The new 1987 Vauxhall Cavaliers. special guest star. Thank you. And what a talent. The producers asked me to introduce him because I do possess a great deal of charm. Oh, you do, Tom. Natural good looks. Yeah. And above all, dignity. Yes. <laughs> so are you by hell, lad? You're getting a few laughs tonight, you, aren't you? I know I am, I know. I'm getting a lorry, 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 lorry laugh. <laughs> And I don't know why I'm getting a lorry, lorry laugh, because I've done nothing. <laughs> I'm only a small town, I don't know why I'm getting these laughs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> our special guest star is one of the greats. He's a legend. And Bobby and I are proud to have him on our show. <laughs> Uh, nothing, Tom. I, I've just noticed you've got some new shoes on. Yeah. 
The dolls is 50 quid. Mm -hmm. I thought it was saying, Jim, I know a guest star. <laughs> Bob and I are great fans. We've got all these records, and we are proud and privileged to have him on our show. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey? Uh, nothing, I'm just looking around audience to see if I can see me out there. <laughs> You are not. You are skulking around behind my back, right? No, not. Now, don't you get me annoyed. No, no, I'm not getting annoyed, please. Tom, don't get annoyed. Blimey, <laughs> I me. Mean, don't blow your top. I'm sorry. Tom. <laughs> Shut up! Get up! I mean, please, Tommy. Keep your wig. Oh, no, sorry. Tom. No, Tom, no. Keep your own. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Bobby, but these jokes are over my head. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you said that! Come on, Tommy. Be serious. What's with the, uh... <laughs> with the, uh, what? You know. What? What? <laughs> what? I don't want to say it. What's with the, uh... Why you keep nodding at me? What's with the wig, the toupee, the top? <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? You've gone and blown it now. You haven't mentioned it, they'd have never known. <laughs> Well, I would, Tommy. I'd have known. How would you? How would I have known? Because yeah. the tag's still hanging down the back. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Taiwan. <laughs> yes. I happen to have imported it. All right? I mean, be honest. I mean, it makes me look like Robert Redfern, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, come on. How do I look? Well, if you want... <laughs> Here's a bit of constructive criticism, Tommy. OK. You look pigging ridiculous. <laughs> What are you talking about, pig and ridiculous? What are you talking about? This two bear me makes me look like a jet setter. More like a pig and red setter. <laughs> <laughs> be honest, Tommy, now, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You're going thin on top, so please, don't go to the extremes, all right? Like, Bobby, I have to go to the extremes, right? I don't like being thin on top, and this new director keeps shooting me from the top. Tommy, you're going to have to face the facts. <laughs> You're going bald. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just a bit thin, that's all, on top. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you straight, my compadre is going bald. <laughs> right? I am not going bald, right? <laughs> no, hang on a minute, then. Ladies and gentlemen, come on now, be honest. When he came on earlier without this tea cosy on his head, <laughs> <laughs> underneath them wisp of real hair, He's as bald as a baby's bottom. <laughs> Go on, show me up in front of all my fans. Show you up? What about me last night? Who showed you up last night? When we went bowling with our pal Trevor? Just shut up and don't mention it, right? Don't mention it. Listen, I'll just tell you this. Listen to this. Lean forward while I tell you this. <laughs> last night we went bowling with our pal Trev. Now, Trev is very short-sighted. And inadvertently, Tommy bent over. <laughs> now, Trev came up and he shoved one finger in his ear <laughs> and two up his nose, and before you know where you are, shoo, he'd gone right down the bowling alley. Lies, <laughs> lies, all lies. It's true. You're not three skittles down to the caretaker. <laughs> I should tell you what happened, right? It wasn't me what got me stuck for a bowling ball. Oh, no. Who was it then? It was you, Curly. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, Little Richard! i 
I just want to say, little Richard, it's an honor to have you on our show. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I look like Michael Jackson. You look, <laughs> you look terrific. You don't mind me calling you a little, dear? Oh, no. <laughs> Anything you want, Bob. Thank you. Thank a lot for that song you've sold me. Oh, song, it, song, it, song. It. What song's this? In your knees. <laughs> oh, here's your Easter. What is it? In your Easter bonnet. I love your voice. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing, we're doing right. Hang I'm on, sorry, hold on here. Wait a minute, you can't sing that song. That's a Berlin song. Oh, I don't mind. They're my favorite group. <laughs> Listen, stupid, you can't sell him that song, right? You'll get us sued. Tell me, 50 quid in reddies you can have, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this could be a number one for you. Well, listen to this, Tom. We will hear the song Little Richard wrote for us. Yeah. Shall we lay it on him, Richard? I thought you'd never ask. Let's get down. Now. <laughs> All right.
gentlemen, Cannon and Ball. Song. I tell you what, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Rock. Boy, I can't get enough of it. I know that. That's why your teeth are going bad. <laughs> Not that sort of rock. I mean, rock and roll. Hey, it doesn't seem too long since we were teenagers, does it? Who, hey, who you remember? <laughs> hey, hang on, when we were dressed in them teddy boy suits. <laughs> yeah. Must have looked a couple of prats, we must have. Uh. <laughs> Long jackets, velvet collars, frilly shirts, winkle picker shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I hated them winkle pickers. You did? I haven't won them for 20 years. I've still got pointed feet. <laughs> hey. But I tell you what, I would jack the lad when I back in Oldham. You can say that again. I say I would jack the lad back in Oldham, weren't I? <laughs> hey. Silk waistcoat. Yeah. Frilly shirt. Yeah. And borrowed a piece of elastic from my mum's knickers for a tie. Oh, <laughs> she didn't go out for three weeks. It's the only purse she had. Silly <laughs> mother. Oh, hey, well, hang on. I mean, come on, let's be honest. I won the spot prize, didn't I, week in, week out? Yeah, only because you've more spots than me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, though. What about all that grease we wore? Eh? We had to go back to the barbers, didn't we, to ask to eat for an oil change? <laughs> well, this is true, this. I wore that much grease on my hair when I come home from Locarno at night after I've been bopping. I used to slide over to bed. Mm. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you what. Some great songs written, though, weren't they, Bobby? Hey? Oh, great, great songs. Song. Hey! Mm. She boom, she boom. <laughs> <laughs> Great lyrics. I know. Hey. <laughs> but fabulous lyrics. But let me anyway. tell you something. Here's a song from that era, if you like, but was very popular then, and I think is going to remain popular forever. Not after we've sung it, it's not. <laughs> Loneliness Here's a cloak you wear It's got a deep shade of blue It's all there. The sun ain't gonna shine anymore. The moon ain't gonna rise in that sky. The tears are always clouding your eyes when you're without love.
Dan Cannon and Ball are currently appearing in Babes in the Wood at the Bradford Alhambra.